And good to see you again. Yeah, good to see you too. Uh, what a turnout tonight. I mean, we've got pretty much almost uh, all the South Auckland here, don't we? Uh, it's a Freedom Connect group, and uh, these Freedom Connect groups are all over the country. And that's basically a little bit of the, the interim period where the protests have sort of slowed down a bit. Yeah. But with the Freedom Rights Coalition, we keep going. Yeah. yeah. And I uh, just want to you know, thank you for what you started back in October. I mean, my, my whole shift in content in terms of my what I was doing was for this reason. But but seeing that movement, I thought this is the perfect time, and it's just skyrocketed since then. So uh, th thanks to you, I've, I've been, I'm just doing this full time now, basically. So thank you. Yeah. Um, it's a pleasure, and um, it really went well. We had about 116 protests from uh, October last year to uh, the march, the last big one in, uh, in Wellington. So it's quite a few. How does that feel to know that you know you've you, you've started something that's just now not ending? Yeah, I'm, no, I'm just grateful that I could be a part of something that was going to help the people and really give a, a place of voice for them. That's the big one. Um, and I believe it really needed to happen at that. It was timing. And so once everybody got into that, you know, look what we did. I think we had a big part in changing the mandates, a big part in really sending a message to this government that we're not going to take all of this rubbish, no more control intrusions in our lives. And they have to pay for this, really. You just, we're not going to forget it. We're going to come back and we won't be happy until they're gone. So we've got some big plans for the next 15 months up leading to the next election then? Yes, we have. Um, we're in the negotiations now um, we're looking at bringing all the small parties together and some of the uh, mid-range parties, size parties and it uh, looks good because I think we've all come to the conclusion we're better together yeah. than apart and um, if we are united uh, then there are people, there's an appetite in the public for change and they've said that there's, I think it's a good 25% said they'd vote for a party just like this. And um, there was That's a, massive, I mean 25%. 25%. And I think there was something like 800,000 plus who said that an anti-mandate uh, party um, would interest them. That's Unreal. A, that's a lot. And uh, I think as we progress, things are just obviously not going to get any better. And I think people, that 25% that, that is going to turn into a lot bigger, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so, and I think that um, they'll be pleasantly surprised that we're not wacky. We're stable. It's going to be a stable um, movement, but it's going to be fresh, innovative. We can do better than what we've got now. Mm. Heck, we can't do any worse. You should stand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish, I wish. Yeah. Too, 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 too busy with the camera, but you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, look, you know, all in all, where, where, you know, or what can what can people do to like actually start actioning their, their own things? I mean, obviously you're doing your thing. You've got Hecker behind you. You've got Derek. We've got other people in, in the works of doing their things. What is something that, you know, someone at home can see here could actually start working towards doing something? I just think that they, they've got to believe that um, you love your country. I love. I'm, I'm a. I'm a patriot. I love New Zealand. I'm not going to be one of those that are go. I can understand people wanting to flee. A million want to actually leave. If you're thinking of leaving or giving up, don't give up. There's something happening, and we will be meeting together on the 6th of August. Protest up and down the country for the the um, the, the actual cost of living crisis and three waters and some other things. But hey. You know what? We need to stand together. We need to believe that we can get a better country, a better future, a better country, and a better political establishment than we've got now. So, you know, we'll um, appreciate your support. And if you want to get a hold of us or you want to be a part of this, then uh, Freedom and Rights Coalition, that's all you need. And you can tap in. And uh, we'll see you on the battlefield. Awesome. Thanks so much, Brian. Thank you. Thank we'll you. See you soon, eh? Thank you. Yes, Hopefully, I'd love to have you on as, as a podcast and just sit there and just have a good talk and just like yeah, let it run, you know, about your experience. And because yeah. so many, I get so many messages all the time from people going, you know, uh, what, what actually happened and, you know, the blah, 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 blah. So it'll, it'll be awesome it'll be to. fun to, to hear what happened with like the police commissioners, yeah. you know, that uh, member of the cabinet, the Labour Party, yeah. and all the goings on and the yeah. things that happened that led to. And, and I think in, in doing so that people people will be so much more obliged to really open up and, and, and really go behind what you're doing, you know? Well, it's more behind what they can see. Yeah. A lot more that was going on and yeah. give clarity to the public. Well, that's it, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Brian. Thank you very much. Bye.